We're going to check this out. Sunday shop update is going to be how does this Trend craft blade perform against the Capex universal blade. Okay, so we've got some softwood. We'll check how clean the cut is. Some oak, hardwood. Again, we'll check the cut. Some regular 18 mil ply. So we'll start with the Festool. As you would expect, it's a very, very good cut. There's a tiny bit of tear out on the back. Overall, went through that like butter. So that's the first one. Let's do some softwood. Again, good cut. It's a very sharp blade. It's a tiny bit of tear out again. I haven't got the fence up tight to stop that, just to see what it's like comparing it with a trend. And then some oak. Again, a very good cut. Silky smooth. Now let's switch over to the craft blade. So it's arrived with some sort of sticky stuff on there. I need to get that off because I want it to sit dead flush. Bit of oven cleaner. So we've got the trim blade here, which is 60 tooth, the Festool blade, 60 as well. So both identical. This one cost under 30 pounds. This one was more like 70 pounds. Now I've been using Trend blades for a long time in my, Trend Professional that is, in my circular saw. So I thought I'd give these a go on my chop saw. Okay, so the blade feels just as balanced as the other Festool blade. I'm not going to change anything. Let's start with the oak. Okay, same tiny bit of tear out, just because I've not got the fence on. The cut quality is fantastic. Softwood. This one's the trend. And this one's the festool. Maybe a little bit coarser looking on the trend actually, the cut, the end grain there. Let's try the ply. the trend that is the festool so trend kind of wins on the ply try one more on the oak to see what that looks like seesaw marks on that On both really. So I'd actually say that what's going to be the test on this, and I'm going to come back to you all on it, is whether or not these craft blades last as long um, with the exotic hardwoods that I cut, as whether they last as long as the original Festool blade. I've started to try these craft blades purely because if I'm cutting wood and it might have some uh, old nails in it, reclaim wood, uh, this is just a very, very expensive blade to damage. I'm very happy with the Festool blades, they've been brilliant. I've been using a this is an old one, but I've been using one of these trend blades. Um, and if you can look here, they're actually five mil 
larger than recommended for the um, HKC55 and they're also slightly thinner, the Kerf. Now, I've been using one of those in this for a long, long time and I've found it's point two thicker and this is 160 and the trend blade is 165. Now what I found was there's plenty of clearance here as you can see to have a 165. Now this is designed for a 0.8. So once the trend blade wears down a little, this can pinch. I uh, didn't want to file this down, but when the trend blade arrives, it's absolutely fine um, until the edges of the blade wear. Now these are about 11 pounds and I don't bother to sharpen them. I just give them the clean as you've seen before. And then once that goes dull, I've saved this for cutting plasterboard, uh, drywalling, etc. But I wouldn't bother sharpening that or sending that away. That's about 11 pounds on eBay and I'll put a link. And I've found that to be absolutely brilliant. And the fact that it's 0.6 um, instead of 0.8, it actually elongates the battery life um, of the HKC55. I found it cuts easily as well as one of these and is for a fraction of the cost and then you just throw it away as a disposable item. I've not found the cut to be any worse on hard or soft woods. It's always been fantastic. This blade, as you can see, is really old. It's done a lot of work and it took a long time to go dull. So I'm hoping that in the KS120, it's gonna be a similar case. I didn't realize that Trend made a blade. The thing with the KS120 has always been that the blade is a, one, is a 260 and it has a negative 0.5 rake. Um, and I wanted to kind of match that up because I heard it's much better for the anti-kickback. And also my laser is gonna be, still gonna be accurate. So, so I'll report back in a few weeks or when I feel this blade is dulling, I'll give it a clean as I've shown you before, see what happens then, to see how this performs. Because you could find that you're gonna get a little bit less life out of the trend blade but if you did hit a nail um, you're looking at about 20 odd pounds I'll put the price in the link in the description to replace it as opposed to 70 um, on the festival so it could be a really good way forward if you're looking to save a little bit of money or if you're working with materials that may have some kind of um, you know nails or metal or anything left in there so thanks for watching until the next one I'll see you later